Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. Okay guys, okay so we are back speed building another set of contemporary apartments, this time in the world of Oasis Springs. Now don't be fooled you guys, we did start by building off in Newcrest, but eventually I felt like the design of the apartments fit in so much better in Oasis Springs, so we will eventually move to that neighborhood in a little bit, but yeah, um... I'm so excited to be back. I know that a lot of you guys love these contemporary builds and these apartments are very luxurious and they definitely have that resort type of atmosphere to them. So I decided to name them the Terrace Resort Apartments. I know it's very generic, but I really, really liked how that name was so appropriate to the design that I chose. Anyway, let me just give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. This might not be my most original build ever because the design of these apartments I have based off of something that I've seen online. So I just want to make that clear for you guys. Okay, so it has been strongly based by a picture that I've had in my pictures folder for a while that I've been planning to do and I'm just like okay now would be the perfect time I really want to take advantage of these curved balconies and parises and stuff like that that came with the base game actually and just make something that kind of focuses on that feature of the game which I actually really liked as you guys can see right now I tried at the very beginning to make this asymmetrical and then the front was the one that had all the terraces and then the back had some balconies and stuff like that but eventually it will be absolutely symmetrical from the outside and I think that that design was really really nice anyway I just felt like the way it looked now was a little bit um for Forced. the asymmetry was forced so yeah I tried to simplify the shape and stuff like that it is a very complicated shape for an apartment and this is super super expensive it's about 200,000 simoleons so it's not the most budget friendly starter apartment uh, but it's very awesome and it is very, it was also very very complicated to build what you guys are seeing right now all this footage approximately took me four hours four to five hours to construct and to finish so it was not um, an easy feat of construction if I do say so myself but the end result was so worth it I'm so proud of it and it looked so freaking awesome I'm just like hell yeah and yeah uh, I also spent so much time on the interiors of this apartment because I was just like, you know what, I'm going to make the interiors really, really nice and fancy. And in order to showcase that, I decided to do something a little bit different with the speed builds. I decided to include not screenshots, but um, some video shots of the interior as well as the exterior. So what you guys will be seeing will be videos of this building as opposed to the usual screenshots that I do. I don't know, I feel like switching it up a bit, especially the fact that I know that videos will be able to showcase this lot so much better. Uh, so yeah, you guys will see that if you stick as far as the end of the video, you will definitely see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but as you guys can see, I was playing a little bit with the shape of the building, which eventually I just went ahead and did it more symmetrical because, yeah, I, I just really like the symmetry and I felt like it was, it, it felt like it worked, you know. Many of you guys might denounce this style as very modern, but it's actually not that modern. This style has been in use for quite a while already. It's a little bit dated. Um, this style of architecture where there's a lot of terraces and stuff was popular probably after 1940s, um, around 1950s and 60s when traveling really became a thing. So definitely the top travel destinations like the south of France and Monaco and all those places will have buildings that are very similar to this. It also has like a little bit of an art deco aesthetic to it, which I really liked. And I think those trims that I'm placing right now really do help. Um, and yes, you guys, these terraces are probably my favorite feature of this building they are so huge they're even bigger than some of the bedrooms and stuff but yeah I think they look so awesome I would totally 
totally live here for sure. And um, that's pretty much why I decided to place this lot ultimately in Oasis Springs because I felt like the terraces would complement the look as well as the climate of that area. Uh, and I saw a lot in Oasis Springs that was kind of placed right next to each other. And I'm just, okay, this would work really well for a row apartments that I'm going for. So yeah. Anyway, this was also my first speed build in my new system, which I'm so excited. As you guys might notice that the quality has greatly improved. If you are observing properly, there are reflections and there are shadows and stuff like that. And it's easier for me to take videos as well. That's why I opted for that as opposed to taking screenshots. And yeah, placing in some wood floors kind of makes this feel like really a resort if you guys got what I mean there's gonna be tons of chairs and umbrella seating and stuff like there's even some barbecue areas on the outside the apartment unit that is going to be occupiable is the one to the right as you guys can see it's the right one it's the left one right now it's super super tricky but the other one is pretty much um, a vacant space so the whole the whole half of the building will be occupiable there we go we are now in oasis springs and i'm just gonna plop the building right there the lighting complements the structure really really well and as you guys can see i divided the building into half the half that you guys can see to the left is the one that you guys can purchase and live in and then the, the other half will be painted black to make it look inconspicuous and stuff like that. I did keep the walls the minimal height which is weird usually I would do the middle height but I felt like in terms of the proportion of the building these heights for the walls was very appropriate um and i also included some split leveling over here as you guys will see in just a little bit there we go that is going to be the main living room of the house and it's going to be on a split level which i really really liked i i really really pushed myself with the interiors for this you guys it's kind of insane and the interiors turned out looking absolutely stunning there's a lot of um, there's a lot of woods for sure and I also used a lot of um, cool kitchen stuff so just a little bit of a heads up for you guys who do not have that game pack just or uh, yeah that stuff pack I mean there we go and definitely my favorite room for this whole entire house is the kitchen I think it looks absolutely stunning I was so happy with how it turned out and I really pushed myself to kind of create a different shape uh, so I used move objects on for some strange reason and um, which is I don't usually use move objects when I'm doing my kitchens because I want things to snap together properly and work together kind of the way that the game wants it to work um, but you know I, I was able to make like that angled area for the kitchen and I really 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 like that detail extra proud of it um, the kitchen is also a little bit more excessive I ended up placing two stoves um, which is a little bit excessive, but this is a luxury apartment. So what do you expect? And I placed, I'm going to place in some bar stools that came with perfect. I mean, that came with cool kitchen as well as like, there's actually no legit dining room, which is kind of weird. The, the, act, the dining area is located in the middle of the kitchen, which I thought was really nice. You know, in, if you're living in an apartment, you don't have the luxury of space. So, you know, you just have to make it work. And I think the kitchen looked really nice and sophisticated as well. Uh, I love that um, shelf that came with Cool Kitchen once again. That is probably one of my favorite items. I love how the shelf ex itself comes stacked with a bunch of clutter. Because mo most of the clutter in the game, you actually cannot put on the shelves, which is really annoying. We have a really limited choice of what to put on shelves. So I'm really happy that these ones come with their own clutter. And there we go. There We have some more shelves, which I feel like it makes the kitchen look more functional and stuff. And of course, placing in some plants. That is my go-to plant, by the way, that planter box. I use that all the time. And I also tried to incorporate that um hydrangea plant, which once again is one of my favorite items that came with Cool Kitchen. And that is a very, very beautiful plant. You guys will see me incorporate that in just a little bit. Um, there we go. That is so beautiful. The only problem I have with that plant is that it's so tricky to place. Like, 
it's so tricky like i don't know i wish you can just put it on top of any surface but it can't you know there's a limited just yeah you can place it in very limited surfaces, which is super disappointing for me and yeah i'm just trying to experiment here with some stuff i don't know Hopefully the speed is okay for you guys because to be completely honest, this video is much, much longer than my typical usual videos that I make for you guys, which usually take about 30 minutes long. This one is closer to about 40 minutes because I, I didn't want to speed it up for you guys too, too much so that it will be difficult to watch. I think it's easier to watch in this speed because I didn't speed it up more than my usual, if you guys get what I mean. So hopefully... It's not a pain to watch and it's easier to watch than my other speed builds that I've sped up so fast. But yeah, I just have to kind of compensate for it by doing like 10 minutes extra commentary, if that makes any sense. But anyway, I wouldn't mind talking to you guys anyway. So I think, yeah, I, I had a little bit of a tricky time working with the lighting. Most of the lights that I used are these ones that came with, um, what do those lights came with? Um, I bel well, they're base game lights, but I'm pretty sure they came with like an update or like an expansion pack or something. So yeah, I used those most of the time. Those are the simplest and most realistic lights because not every house has a chandelier in every corner, you know? Chandeliers should be used sparingly, in my opinion, like just for special places to pretty much highlight those places and stuff. And for the main common areas, I was able to use very simple color schemes. But as we go to the bedrooms and stuff, we're going to see a lot of color just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. And this technique of using move objects and just putting it in the coffee table and stuff to create a square coffee table has been inspired by Deligracy, by the way. I'm just going to give her full credit for that technique. She deserves it. She is so creative and she is one of my favorite builders. Actually, she's one of my favorite simmers like of all time anyway. So yeah, I watch her videos and kind of get inspired by it as well. But yeah, I don't exactly copy her. I just want to make that clear. Um, but you know, some techniques definitely have been inspired by her and I admire her so much. I don't mind being compared and stuff. Uh, a lot of you guys have also come from Deligracy, so I'm grateful for everybody who gave my channel a chance and subscribed because that takes a little bit of an investment to hit that subscribe button now. It makes so much sense for us. Actually, it means so much for YouTubers like us. Every subscriber really counts. So we're always really grateful for you guys to take that extra step and click that subscribe button. I was able to incorporate a flat screen TV over here in the corner and also that huge, um, well, you know, I, I was able to incorporate that one painting as well that came with Cool Kitchen and it's I made it larger basically to kind of fill up that space. And I think it re works really well. I think it ties in all the different colors together really, really nicely. And yeah. So, um, I'm placing in some clutter, which I never do. I did push myself to kind of incorporate more clutter in this build because, um, I don't know, I didn't limit myself with this apartment specifically. Usually I would work within a budget if I build things for use in a let's play, but this apartment is not intended for use in a let's play so i'm just like letting myself do whatever i want and i think it turned out really well there goes the living room we're gonna simplify that living room in a little bit because i did feel like it was a little bit cl too cluttered and this is a really interesting feature that i incorporated here i placed in an indoor fountain which is not exactly a fountain it's just an indoor pool type of thing i know it's really bizarre but i think it works i think it fills up the space and i think it gives the whole apartment like that whole touch of luxury that i was going for um definitely you would put your hipster sims here if they want to experience that resort type of lifestyle the surroundings of this is absolutely insane probably one of my favorite neighborhoods there's a lot of water a lot of fountains and i am definitely getting a resort vibe based on where i placed or based on the lot where i placed this particular lot or this house i don't know the surroundings are so resorts i'm just like hell yeah 
this thing would totally fit in. And I did place a couple of extra lights just to make things brighter. We all know that The Sims 4 does not have the best lighting when it comes to the interior. So I did try to um, maximize the brightness for the inside because usually it tends to be a little bit darker for interiors in The Sims 4. And yeah. Right now we are working on the hallways and I just kept it really simple, you know, two chairs, like a display table, a side table and a really nice painting. And I, I, I really like the sunflower painting that came with Get to Work, I believe. And especially in that color, I really, really, really like it looks absolutely stunning in that saturated color. The colors look beautiful. And I also tried to incorporate some paint, which is kind of weird, uh, but I felt like it took away a little bit of a sophistication for this ground floor area. So I went ahead by leaving the walls either white or wooden, okay? Now we're gonna place some bookshelves. So I'm really happy that I was able to incorporate some bookshelves actually because, you know, they're super helpful. Bookshelves are one of the items that really give your Sims skills, regardless of what type of skill it is. You can probably get your Sims to level up that skill just by having a bookshelf. So these are super, super important. And I kind of imagine the people who occupy this house as people who might like to read in their spare time, you know, hashtag hipster. Uh, but I also placed those shelves over there as kind of like a feature wall type of thing, which I actually really liked. So um, right now we're just painting the vacant unit black just so that, you know, it would take away as least amount of attention as it should be because right now apartments aren't a thing in the sims 4 we're getting closer though because right now we can actually lock doors so you have control over whether you, your sims want to access the other house or not so yeah now in the middle of the ground floor we actually have a bathroom and yes it is a bathroom originally i planned to have kind of a powder room and a laundry area but since there's no laundry in the game yet I went ahead and just placed in a full bath instead which is super weird. I know that it kind of freaks you guys a lot every time I put bathrooms right next to the kitchen but this time I made sure that the doors didn't attach to the kitchen directly so that if you guys are concerned about sanitation and just yeah, and those kinds of things. I know that a lot of you guys are concerned about that. So, you know, I listen to you guys, right? Um, but yeah, we have a shower over there, maybe for the guest or something. I will throw in like um, a laundry basket later on. But really, really later on, when I actually discover that there is a laundry basket in the game, which is not functional, unfortunately. And I will also move that toilet over there. There we go. I don't know. I feel like every house needs a powder room. So yeah. And pretty much most of the ground floor is done as of this point. I will go back to it and add some of the clutter that has disappeared. Uh, cause yeah, they, some, some items do disappear, which is really weird. That's why I hate move objects in The Sims 4. Cause it automatically deletes some of the objects. And that's like the most disappointing thing ever. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. There's a solution for that. And when you guys download, please, 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 really importantly, when you download this house, please make sure that you have your move objects turned on when you get this from the gallery and place it on the lot so that um, all the items that were placed using the move objects on will be there. <laughs> Otherwise, some of them will disappear, okay? Moving on to the second floor, we have two bedrooms. We have one bedroom for the girl and one guest bedroom, I guess, or boy's bedroom, whatever you want to call it. The bedroom to the back of the house is going to be for the boy, and then the bedroom to the front is going to be for a girl. It's it's the same exact size. The only difference is that the girl's bedroom has a single bed, and then the guest bedroom has a double bed, and it also faces the, the guest bedroom faces the beautiful view of like the golf course, the area, and stuff like that. Um, once again, I never try to like, you know, overly specify 
like my bedrooms like usually i would make very generic bedrooms that can be used by all genders but this time i decided to add a little bit more personality to the mix and make a bedroom that was designed specifically for the need of a client and this time i kind of thought of having a female daughter that's in her teens and yeah super rich super privileged so she has you know a nice little desk and stuff like that beautiful color paint as well on the wall that is a very stunning color purple which i have used before in my other bills that is a stunning color and yeah i also had like the impression that this family really likes relaxation and zen and you know just wellness in general so there's definitely a lot of candles i did place like a yoga mat in one of the balconies later on and I also placed like a treadmill so it's all about health wellness and taking care of yourself and stuff like that I funny thing though I forgot to put a door <laughs> where um the bathroom should be accessible from the girl's bedroom so you guys will see me actually work in a door later on and I also gave her like a nice little stereo as well so that she can listen to sick tunes and be a rebel pretty much like every other girl in the world at her age, I guess. I don't know. And one really special thing that I was also able to do for this house is that all the bedrooms, all three bedrooms have a walk-in closet. How cool is that? Yes, all three bedrooms have a walk-in closet. Since I went for a more luxurious take on these apartments anyway, I'm like, you know what? Why not go a little bit more excessive and just add in some, you know some walk-in closets because if you're super rich i'm pretty sure the first thing that you would ask for is a walk-in closet now seriously though i'm yeah i would and um it's such a luxury to have a walk-in closet knowing that you have so much space to spare for a room that you barely use um i think it's yeah it, i think it's really cool i guess i don't know and i did add a little bit of personality by putting in some nice little posters on the wall um if girls have a actually all teens have a rebellious stage anyway and i think being a fan of specific types of media like comics or beauty or cartoons is something that is common in most teens i guess so you know i i think posters really say a lot about the personality of the person who is going to use this room and of course tons and tons and tons of clutter honestly the, the amount of clutter is probably the reason why it took me forever to finish this house usually it wouldn't take me that long to actually create a house uh but since i did go the extra mile and add a lot of stuff to personalize it and to establish the identity of the user i think that's the reason why it took me forever to finish it uh, so yeah three bedrooms and two bathrooms by the way you guys if i haven't mentioned it before and all the bedrooms and all the bathrooms have the same amenity it has like bathtub toilet and sink as well Okay, up next, we are going to be working on the guest bedroom, which was also a little bit tricky for me to kind of figure out because um, I wanted to include a lot of stuff. Pretty much all the bedrooms have like um, a study table, an office table, a, a computer table, a, a, a computer desk, and all the bedrooms also have like... Um, a screen thing which is weird i really like using those screens for some strange reason and of course a bed it was so difficult to fit in all the different items that i wanted to include but yeah it just took me a little bit of time to figure it out and it actually worked out really well in the end um that door was getting deleted so i had to kind of figure a way to make everything fit in the way i wanted it to and yeah i was able to do that later on though so cool beans cool beans no biggie and then yeah the guest bedroom is mostly blue color which i really like i don't know why i just really like seeing these saturated colors i think they look really awesome and um i don't know i just really like them and yeah, uh, 
<laughs> I don't know what to say, but it's it's super awesome. You guys will see in the video walk walk through later on all the detail that I put it really does contribute to making this look realistic in a way that it it feels like people actually live here. And I think that's what makes it special, you know, the fact that people have, you know, interacted with these items, you know, virtually. Uh, but I was, I'm super, super proud of it. And by the way, since I'm doing something new with this particular speed build, I want to hear what you guys have to say for everybody who made it this far. What do you guys think of the new type? What do you think of the new, um, way that I do the speed builds where I do videos instead of the thumbnails and screenshots? Um, I feel like videos kind of showcase a little bit more personality and show the depth of the furnishings that the screenshots can't. The disadvantage of using videos as opposed to screenshots is that it takes longer and it's definitely more space and a little bit more of an investment. Screenshots are so easy to take and also so fast to get over and done with. Um, but yeah, I don't know. When I first started doing speed builds this year, though, I, I would take videos, actually, instead of screenshots. Then, like, my past couple of speed builds was all about the screenshots. I don't know. It's just kind of crazy, but it's it's a process, you guys. And I kind of want to continuously experiment with my options and just try to improve the quality of my content. So... Yeah, anyway, okay, the third floor is where we have the master bedroom. Only the master bedroom on the third floor because it has a huge master bathroom and its own um, walk-in closet, so that's that. I will eventually switch out those mirror, uh, those, um, those windows in the end. I will eventually switch them out with some floor-to-ceiling ones that I've used all throughout this house. I just felt like those were more luxurious looking and, um, you know, I wanted the people who lived in this house to see the view of the outside because it is a stunning view and super, super insanely crazy. So yeah, there we go. That's the final layout of the bedroom for the guest bedroom. And then pretty much all the bedrooms have the same bed except for the girl's bedroom, which has like a single version of the bed. Oh my gosh, the vehicles outside my house are so noisy, but for the master bedroom, I definitely went for something that was very, very relaxing, actually. I went for something that, I went for a lot of green, and I also went for a lot of brown and earth tones and stuff. I kind of imagine these people to be very, very busy in real life, and, you know, it's like, they go here in this resort townhouse apartment to kind of find relaxation and inner peace, so that's that. And yeah, I'm just switching out all the items over here, finding the perfect placement. And there we go. We have the walk-in closet. Pretty much is the same thing. It's the same items. The only difference for the walk-in closet are the clutter items that I use. There we go. I found that laundry basket, which is purely decorative. But yeah, each walk-in closet has different clutter. And then this walk-in closet for the master bedroom um, has a slightly different layout to it. And I was able to incorporate the mirrors that came with Spa Day as well. The mirrors that had lights behind them, which I thought was really, really awesome. And also I placed, if you guys would notice that, I, I placed a ton of book clutter. Because uh, I really wanted to establish that this was an academic type of family. They're kind of overachievers and stuff like that. So they they, they are surrounded by things that kind of reflect that affluent lifestyle. So yeah, there we go. The master bedroom has its own really, really luxurious bathtub, which you can take mud baths in and stuff like that. And then some nice little, pretty much the same sink and toilet all throughout. Also going to be a couple of clutter items over here to the side on top of these counters. And yeah, I could not place those hydrangea plants. I would have placed those, but I just could not be bothered by trying to figure out how those were going to be placed. So I went ahead and placed like a nice 
lamp actually that was that a nice plant that looked i mean a nice lamp that looked like a plant oh my god that is so tricky to say but that lampshade w looked like a plant it was very interesting and i'm i always use that as well and we're gonna put a couple of planter boxes over here for the outside the outside terraces are gonna have a ton of clutter they're gonna have some seating, some dining tables. The the ones on the uppermost front are gonna have a barbecue and like an umbrella type of thing, which you guys might have probably seen from the screenshots. And yeah, it's it's really fun and relaxing, and I would totally live here. Even if this was a hotel, I would totally like spend some time in this area there we go there goes that wellness mat thing i wanted to include more spa day items like the massage table and the massage chairs but i felt like that was going overboard you know those things you would never see in someone's house so yeah um there we go so instead of placing like some dining tables and some dining chairs i went ahead and placed like a yoga mat instead and on the uppermost level, I placed one treadmill and stuff like that. It's really fun. I would totally love to live here if my Sims can afford it. But they can't, you know, unless I cheat, which I sh probably should. <laughs> um, just to probably, like, live in this house. I th this would be insane. Like, this would be freaking crazy. And, yeah, I also... um checked uh, how this house would look like at night and it looked really nice as you guys can see the reason why i got rid of the initial roof earlier on in the video is that it was glitching out for me for some strange reason the curved pieces that you guys can see do not qualify as roofs so if you have a curved piece overlapping a room underneath it it's gonna consider that room as open if you guys get what i mean so you need to place first um you need to cover all your rooms with an actual ceiling then you you can place the curved pieces which is kind of annoying but yeah the roof turned out becoming much bigger than what I would have wanted, uh, but there was no choice. You know, I didn't have a way going around it to make it look the way I wanted it to, but it actually looked really nice. It's a flat roof, but it has curved edges and stuff. It's a very beautiful shape. And once again, kind of a really early modern type of thing, very strong art deco elements to it. Um, the building that I probably based this on is Art Deco. I haven't seen the whole building. I've just seen the part where the balconies are. So that's that. But I was really happy with like the what how the things have turned out in the end, though. So that's that. And yeah, there we go. There are some missing windows on the outside, especially on the unit that is unoccupiable. I forgot to place some windows. So you guys might not see them in the screenshots and in the walkthrough video, but they will definitely be there when I upload this house. Um, and I just noticed that that roof, that flat roof is uneven, which kind of bothers me a little bit, but whatever. Right now, we are working on the final room of the house, and the topmost room is kind of like an office leisure area. There's a TV, which if we had a game console, we can play consoles in. And there's also like some bookshelves and some uh, a painting easel as well. There you go. I love these umbrella things. They are so awesome. And I will fit in um, one of the barbecues that came with outdoor living. I'm oh, wait, wait a second. Perfect patio. I'm getting things mixed up. Uh, but yeah, there we go. And I also placed the exact same clutter for the balconies on the neighboring unit just because I kind of want it to feel like people actually live there. Um, so yeah, you guys can just delete them if you don't want them. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then a nice little love seat as well on the other side, and then yeah, we're gonna work in some more entertainment space. This is basically like a loft den type of thing, which I really like, and still continuing on with a lot of whites, and of course we have to have that screen, right? Uh, so yeah, I tried to be consistent with the color schemes that I used all throughout. 
And I think it turned out really well, honestly. And we're going to place a nice little flat screen TV and a bookshelf, which was too big. So I ended up placing a smaller one like that. And then to the right, I will place an easel, which I had to unlock, by the way, using the BB.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Because the only easel that's available for the game at first you know, first off is a really crappy easel. It looks like something that you would use for the kids instead of being used by adults. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to cheat and use an easel instead. And I place like a nice little drink tray over there where you can see the um, treadmill, which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, you know, the treadmill has a stunning view of the surroundings. And, you know, once you're done, if you're super tired, you can just make some beverage and just drink it right off the bat. Which I thought was quite a nice touch. And then over here, just adding in some more clutter. Uh, there we go. There goes that easel that I had to unlock. But you can actually use this and it'll work. There's no problems with it. And once again, using these paintings that came with... Um, Cool Kitchen, these are amazing. Those are for sure one of my favorite paintings ever. And I also had to unlock these paintings as well. These look like Warhol paintings of a sloth, llama, and what's the other one? Sloth, llama, and I didn't see the other one. So that's that. And then also placing in some lights on the outside just to make it more illuminated at night. This thing looks just as good at nighttime as it does during the daytime but probably the most beautiful view of this house would probably be around sunset where you can see like very nice earth tones that are being brought up by the sunset of oasis springs and i think it really does complement the area really well oasis springs has very beautiful rock formations and i think the style of the building really complements that you know the terraced aspect and the proportions of it really kind of enhance the natural rock formations. Okay, so pretty much the last couple of things that we're going to do are some landscaping, which I did keep it very minimal. I went to my go-to plants, actually. Oh, I, we are going to place like a nice little fountain over here because I felt like it needed something. You know, I felt like it needed a little bit more detail. So we are going to place a little water feature i guess it's not exactly a fountain but yeah and i just went with my go-to plants for the landscaping really really simple two types of plants these trees that have flowers in them and then some nice little hy white hydrangeas as well and i was able to fit in some planter boxes as well if you have sims who have the hobby of planting crops and stuff okay so the speed build is coming to an end. So as my commentary as well, I will cut into the floor plants. And yeah, um, right now we're looking at some floor plants of the first, second, and third floor. But I will leave you guys here um, and leave you guys to appreciate the rest of the video, which is in video form without my commentary, because that's kind of the way I want to do things right now. Okay, guys? So anyway, that is going to be it for the commentary part of this video. Once again, and please don't forget to show some love by hitting that like, favorite, and subscribe button. I hope you guys had fun. I definitely had so much fun building this for you guys. So I hope you guys had just as much fun watching as I did building it for you guys. Okay, that is going to be it for the speed build. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.